Hello my sweet friends and welcome to this yoga class. Begin in mountain pose with your feet hips distance apart and let your palms face forward. Inhale as you draw your palms up towards your shoulders. Exhale, palms towards the floor. Inhale, bring them up. And exhale, palms down as you root into the earth. Inhale, lifting the energy up, and exhale, rooting the energy down. One last time, inhale, bring them up, and exhale, lower them down. Then take your hands by your side. On your next inhale, sweep the arms out to come up, palms touch, lift your chest as you root down through the heels and exhale to sweep them behind your back, interlace your fingers. Press the palms together and open the collarbones and shoulder blades. Heart lifts up slightly. Deep breath in. And exhale, slowly fold down, keeping the arms behind you in the shoulder opener. Put a little bend in the knees to find more space here. Inhale in. And exhale, release the hands back down to your mat. Inhale to a flat back. And exhale, step back into plank. Inhale here. And exhale, lower the knees and with your elbows pushed into the side of your body, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up onto your toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward and step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale, come up all the way, reach your fingertips towards the sky and exhale, palms together in front of your heart. We're going to repeat this two more times. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, press the palms together, heart lifts up towards the sky. And then slowly fold forward, keep the arms behind you. Put again a little slight bend in the knees to find even more space here. Inhale, and exhale, release the hands back down. Inhale to find a flat back. Exhale, step back into plank. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the knees and lower your body all the way down. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up onto your toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. And then two big steps to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Reach your hands up towards the sky. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. One more time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, sweep them behind your back, interlace your fingers, lift your heart towards the sky. Inhale here, and exhale, fold down. Deep shoulder opener here. Deep breath in. And exhale, release the hands back down to your mat. Inhale to a flat back. And exhale, step into your plank. Inhale here. Option to lower with your knees down or lower all the way down into your Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Beautiful. 
and from here just start walking on the spot so bend one knee and then the other knee and then find your stillness again inhale come up to your toes exhale bend the knees look forward step or jump forward inhale flat back exhale forward fold and inhale come up all the way exhale palms together in front of your heart this time heel toe your feet as wide as the mat turn your toes out inhale reach your arms over your head and exhale start to squat down into your malasana inhale push down through the heels and rise up all the way exhale come back down inhale come up exhale squat down inhale come back up exhale squat down one last time inhale come up exhale come down this time take your elbows to the inner knees and use them to push your knees out a little and draw your hands to your heart and lift the crown of the hat towards the sky find lots of length here deep inhale in and long exhale out one more time deep inhale in and as you exhale fingertips down and step your right foot towards the back of the mat leaving the left foot at this angle Place your hands down flat to the inside of the left foot, engage your legs and find some slight movements here to stabilize. From here, place the right knee down and bring the left hand on your left knee, pushing your knee away from you. Stay still here or again, find some movement. If you want to take it a little bit further, then you can lower down onto your right forearm like I do. Deep inhale in. And as you exhale, slowly reach your left arm up. Inhale again. And exhale, reach the left hand towards your toes, lift your right foot and do your best to grab that right foot with your left hand. Heart is open towards the sky and then you can pull that right heel closer to towards your glute if that feels right. Deep inhale in and as you exhale slowly bring your hand back down, rise back up onto your hands, lift your right knee off the ground. Beautiful from here spin that right heel down and walk your hands towards your right foot as you straighten the left leg squatting into your right knee and then open your arms wide lift your left arm towards the sky slide twist here inhale here and expand even more and when you exhale, slowly walk forward towards the left foot again. Angle the left toes out, bend into the left knee. And from here, step your right foot back to the front of the mat and find your malasana again. Bring your elbows to the inside of your knees. Crown of the head is reaching towards the sky. Inhale here and find some length. And exhale, place your hands back down. We're going to repeat on the other side. So step your left foot back. Find some movement here. And then slowly place your left knee on the ground and place your right hand on your right knee, pressing it away from you. Again, you can find some movement here or stay still, whatever feels right in your body. 
If you want to take it a little bit further, come up onto your forearm. And then open your chest towards the sky. From here, reach your right arm up as you inhale. And as you exhale, reach your right hand towards your toes, lift your left foot up and do your best to grab that left foot with your right hand again. Heart towards the sky. And again, if you can, pull that left heel closer towards your glutes. And then slowly bring your hand back down, rise back up onto your hands, lift your left knee off the ground. Now spin that left heel down and walk your hands towards your left foot as you straighten the right leg, squatting into your left knee now. And then again, open your arms wide, lift your right arm towards the sky, coming into this beautiful twist. Inhale, expand. And as you exhale, slowly walk forward towards your right foot again. Angle the right toes out, bend into the right knee, And from here, slowly step your left foot back to the front of the mat, finding your malasana again. Elbows to the inside of your knees. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And long exhale out. Beautiful. Now place your fingertips in front of you and you can challenge yourself and hop back into your plank position beautiful exhale lower down chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog find lots of length in your back here make sure that your fingers are spread wide onto your mat find your alignment here deep inhale in And as you exhale, lift the right leg towards the sky, three-legged dog. Open your hip, bend the right leg, and you can either stay here, or if you want more, you can slowly place the right foot behind you, finding your flipped dog, your wild things. Really lifting your hips towards the sky here. Deep inhale in. And as you exhale, lift your right arm towards the sky. Push into your left hand and foot as you lift the right leg up, coming into your side plank. Find your balance and slowly with control, place your right foot to the front of your mat without using your hands. Ground your left foot and then cartwheel the arms up and land in your warrior two. Your right leg is bent in a 90 degree angle, shoulders pulling down. Inhale, reach forward with your right fingertips. Exhale, release into your fallen warrior without losing the bend in the right leg. Inhale here and exhale, come forward and place your right elbow on your right knee, extended side angle. Create one beautiful line in your body. Inhale here and exhale, find your fallen warrior again. Think about that deep bend in your right leg. Inhale and exhale, extended side angle. This time you can place your right hand in front of your right foot on the ground if that feels right in your body. From here, cartwheel your left arm in front of you as you straighten the right leg, extend your left arm towards the sky, landing in your beautiful Trikonasana. Both legs are straight and fully engaged here, and your shoulders are pulling away from your face. Deep breath in. 
and as you exhale slowly lower your left hand down step your left foot in a little bit and then make sure that both of your hips are square towards the floor and slowly fold over your right leg your right hip is pulling back and your left hip is pulling towards the front of your mat here this is a great place for you to use some blocks as well if you have some on hand. Take a deep breath in and exhale, bend into your right knee, slowly step back into plank or three-legged plank and lower down Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog beautiful take one deep inhale in and one long exhale out let's repeat the same thing on the other side starting with our left leg lifting it up towards the sky from here open your hip bend into your left leg And then you can either stay here again or flip your dog coming slowly into your wild things. Extend your hips towards the sky, coming into this beautiful back bend here. One more deep inhale. And as you exhale, slowly lift your left arm towards the sky push into your right hand and foot and lift your left leg up coming into your side plank and then again slowly with control place your left foot to the front of your mat ground your right foot and then cartwheel the arms up into your warrior two this time your left leg is bent in a 90 degree angle shoulders are pulling down again inhale reach forward exhale release into your fallen warrior without losing the bend in the left leg inhale here exhale come forward and place the left elbow on your left knee extended side angle one beautiful line with your body inhale here and exhale come back fallen warrior do not lose the bend in the left knee inhale and exhale extended side angle this time you can place the left fingertips in front of your left foot going a little bit deeper here inhale and as you exhale cartwheel your right arm in front of you extending your left leg and extending the right arm towards the sky coming into your trikonasana again both of your legs are extended and very active here and again create lots of length inhale in extend even more and when you exhale slowly lower the right hand back down step the right foot in a little bit more extend the left leg and then make sure both of your hips are square so you push the right hip forward and the left hip back and then slowly fold over your left leg with every exhale try and go a little bit deeper into this stretch take one last deep inhale here and as you exhale bend into the left knee step back into plank or three-legged plank and lower down chaturanga dandasana inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog take a breather on your next inhale wave the chest forward into high plank chin to chest round through the spine as you exhale glide it back to down dog let's do two more like that inhale come forward into plank exhale press back let your hips lead you up and back 
One last time, inhale, how slow can you go? And exhale, slowly lower all the way down this time. Inhale, come up into Cobra. Exhale, wave the chest down. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, slowly wave it down. One last time, inhale, Cobra. Exhale, lower the chest down. Beautiful. From here, extend your right arm away from you. Bend your left knee. And then slowly open your left hip, placing the left knee behind you. Coming into this beautiful shoulder stretch in your right shoulder. You are more than welcome to close your eyes here and simply come back to your breath. Take one deep inhale in. And one long exhale out. One more inhale in. And as you exhale, slowly with control, come back to your center. Let's do the other side, extend the left arm away from you, bend into the right leg and step the right foot behind your left leg. Close your eyes and breathe again. Deep inhale in and exhale out. One deep inhale in. And one long exhale out. Beautiful. One last deep inhale in. And as you exhale, slowly come back to center. Place your elbows right underneath your shoulders right now. So your forearms are firmly on the ground. Open the chest towards the sky, coming into your beautiful swings pose. From here, slowly tuck your toes and lift your body up, coming into your high plank on your forearms. We're not going to stay here for long. We will now slowly start walking our toes towards our face, coming into our downward dog on our forearms. Really try and push your upper body towards your thighs, creating lots of length in your back. You can bend into your knees here or come up onto your toes like I do if you need it. Take one last deep inhale, and as you exhale, slowly bring the knees to the ground and press back into your child's pose. Bring your forehead on the ground. And you can stay here in stillness or slowly move your forehead from left to right, massaging the space between your eyes. Find lots of stillness here. Come back to your breath. And then from here, slowly come up. Sit back on your mat. And then make your way all the way down onto your mat. Bring your knees into your chest. And just start by making little circles with your knees, massaging your lower back. And then from here, grab the outsides of your feet and press your knees down into the mat next to you, coming into our beautiful happy baby. 
You can find some movement here like I do, simply swaying from side to side. You can also find stillness. Do whatever feels right in your body right now. Take one last deep inhale in this beautiful asana. And when you exhale, extend both arms away from you, lift your legs up in a 90 degree angle, and then slowly lower your knees down on your right side. Inhale here and exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, lower them on your left side. Exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, your right side. Exhale, bring them back up. Inhale, slowly place them on your left side. Exhale, bring them back up. Inhale, place them down on your right side. This time, we're gonna stay here for a second. Your gaze is towards your left fingertips and just enjoy this gentle twist here. And then slowly bring them back to center and lower them on your left side. Gaze is towards the right this time. Twist open towards the other side. With every exhale, try and melt further into the ground. Let go of everything that no longer serves you. One deep inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly bring your legs back up to center. Bring your knees into your chest and give them one big hug. Deep breath in here. And exhale, extend everything away from you. Extend your legs, extend your arms. Make sure your palms are facing up towards the sky. We are coming into our final posture, our Shavasana. Close your eyes here and slowly come back to your natural breathing. Feel the heaviness of the atmosphere slowly pushing you towards the mat feeling heavier and heavier relax everything in your body if you still hold tension anywhere try and let it go with every single exhale and together let us find some stillness for a couple of moments. And from here, slowly come back to your breath without moving anything yet. Just start breathing in deeply and take a long exhale. And then whenever you're ready, you can start moving your fingers and your toes, slowly waking up your body Extend both arms over your head and really stretch it out here. And then bend both knees 
and then roll over onto your right side make a little pillow with your hands and just be here with yourself for another second feeling gratitude for your body and your health And then slowly, with eyes still closed, come back up into a comfortable seated position. Place your hands on your legs and just see if there's a little more space in your body than it was at the beginning of the practice. And see how you can take that with you throughout the rest of your day. Inhale, arms up over your head. And exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale one more time, reach both arms up to the sky, feeling the energy between the two palms of your hands. And then bring that energy over to your third eye chakra, the space between your eyebrows. Allow that energy to connect with your intuition. And then bring that energy over around your throat, bringing that energy to your speech, making sure that everything you say today comes from love and compassion. And then bring your hands down to your heart sending out gratitude into the universe for everything that you have for your health for your well-being and this beautiful existence namaste mm-hmm.